Kate here. Okay, we're at. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hi. You're sexy. Kate here. We are at Animal Acres. It is a farm animal sanctuary. What's that? Basically, these are all farm animals that have been rescued from crazy, deplorable conditions. That is factory farming. And Mr. Kate is about having a global awareness, and what you eat makes a statement. So let's go learn about it from the horse's mouth. Or the goat's mouth. Or the, the chicken's mouth? Turkey's mouth. Pig's mouth? Cow's mouth. Come on. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. Oh, hi. I'll drop by for a while. Mr. Kate. I'll help you find your style. Mr. Kate. We'll laugh. We'll paint. I'm Mr. Kate. Yay! We are here with Lori. She is the president and founder of Animal Acres, and she's going to give us a tour and introduce us to all these fantastically handsome beings around us. Animal Acres started in 2005, okay. and it was actually a continuation of the work I started back in 1986, oh, wow. <laughs> where I started the first shelter in the country um, for farm animals as a co-founder of Farm Sanctuary. Okay. So I did that for almost 20 years, and then I always dreamed of having an LA sanctuary because I knew that if we were located in a major metropolitan area, we would get celebrity support, yeah. media like you. Yeah. You know, there's so many people here doing wonderful work, especially volunteers. We rely on volunteers. Yeah. Last year we had 478 volunteers wow. um, and only five staff members. So it shows you the ratio and how critical and vital volunteers are to our programs. Well, obviously, we have made it into the bird section. Oh, I Turkeys love it. are actually really friendly. They're very curious. Yeah. They love a lot of human attention and interaction. How old do you think these turkeys are, Kate? I don't know, six? Seven? Six years old? Well, see, that's really interesting. You're close, only it's months. Dang. And that's They're because, huge. exactly, that's because turkeys are one of the farm animals that have been so genetically engineered, selectively bred to grow very large, super yeah. fast, so that they're more profitable for meat production. Right. But it's come at great cost to the animals. That's part of the problem in our society is that we only see farm animals at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Exactly. So of course, we don't come into contact with these animals. I know. And then when you don't become you know, familiar with the animals, then you don't want to protect them. We have a lot of tours and a lot of people come through every week. I know, um, but they and just we, get pet and yeah. scratches. And, and we let the animals kind of choose. If they want to go in their barn, that's their chill area, right. so then we leave them alone. But if they want to interact with people, they can. All the animals here are always looking for loving sponsors. It's a monthly, you know, sponsorship commitment to feed them, care for them, give them veterinary care. Oh, how great. And uh, it's the only way we keep our sanctuary open, so people can have their goat. Yeah, sponsor <laughs> and a there goat. we go. Actually, sponsor a goat. And so, do you send people yes. info oh, absolutely. about that? You get a picture of your goat. Like oh this my gosh, does Fred, man. does Fred have a sponsor? You know, I don't think he does. Oh. So we'll have to, there we go. I think I found my soulmate. I think you found your soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> Truth is that since the beginning of time, the greatest thinkers and philosophers and peacemakers like Mahatma Gandhi yeah. have said that you can judge the moral progress of a nation by its treatment of animals. Okay. It is an indicator how we care for those who have no rights and who don't have a voice is really an indicator of how civilized we are, how moral we are. Pigs are really friendly, they're super social, but again, we have a lot of health problems with pigs because of their abnormal size. Um, do you want to guess how old pigs are when they are sent to slaughter? No, I feel like I'm a little bit of an educated guesser, but isn't it like six months? You're absolutely right. You're yeah. very well researched on this issue. Most people think it's like a couple of years, right. but actually Which pigs grow sense. so fast because yeah. of genetic engineering selective breeding that they are reaching slaughter weight which is about 250 pounds at just six months old. This is Jimmy the Snout oh, and this is a tradition at Animal Acres. You can't leave without oh, giving a pig a belly rub. Oh, is Jimmy the Snout because he has a little crooked exactly, snout? Exactly, exactly. And you got to get in there really, see watch this. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go, oh, okay. My God, your, turn, like, your, my turn, turn. your turn, your turn, your turn. Jimmy the Snout. Jimmy the Snout. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. Okay. There. There we go. There we go. See. <laughs> Most of our animals, in fact, come from investigations where we uh, go to factory farms and slaughterhouses and stockyards to document abuses so we can educate people, but also do rescues wherever possible. And we have. Oh, that's where we'll go. We have three little calves that um, came in about a month and a half ago: Oreo, Peanut, and Coco. 
That one's peanut. peanut, and this is cocoa. Are you too scared? Oh, That's okay. Come slow here. down there, you're gonna get gas bubbles. I might have to feed him inside. You're gonna get a little cow burp. No? <laughs> So basically, these guys were rescued from dairy production. It's all an economic equation for the dairy industry. Of course, and if the males are sickly and they're not worth much economically, they're just disposed of. Thanks. You are so compassionate, well, and I appreciate everything that you're doing for the globe and <laughs> letting thank us you. know about it, letting my viewers, my Mr. K viewers, know about well, it. And thank you. Thanks for having well, us. Thanks for having us. I'll give you a, a yeah. spitty handshake because I got a, some cow spit on there. Yay! So <laughs> oh, your goatee is so goatee. Hey, uh, how'd the chicken cross the road? <laughs> you got it. You guys got it. They got it. <laughs>